bigger is still better among SUV shoppers, and Lexus is steering towards success with luxury seating. Let's send it over to reporter Diane Mocha, who's standing by. Diane, what do you think customers who want to be comfy will find appealing? Angie, when you're looking for a family car, that third row of seating can be critical. That's why minivans were so popular with the soccer mom crowd for years, until automakers started adding that extra row of seats to their SUVs for the cool moms. As the popularity of SUVs keeps accelerating, brands like Lexus are coming out with hybrid models that have a comfortable third row of seats that can actually fit an adult. It's lower to the ground, easy to get in and out, and as we continue to say, you don't have to compromise any of the seats where the third row feels just as comfortable as the first two rows of the vehicle. So really excited about that product. Space is in, according to Automotive News, which says that third row of seats in the new Lexus TX is part of a growing trend among SUV models looking to satisfy car buyers who want more room for passengers and cargo. Perhaps that's why SUVs accounted for around 46% of global car sales last year, and why Lexus put two SUVs front and center in Austin, Texas. The debut of the Lexus TX and the unveiling of the redesigned Lexus GX, offering the allure of off-road adventures. They want to feel like if they wanted to go off-road, they have that option, even though most don't take advantage of it, but also the expectation. Our vehicles have always been known for QDR, high quality, very dependable, and uh, very reliable. Now what we're also adding are two other elements, styling and fun to drive, and GX has all five of those elements. The hybrid version of the GX is planned for the future, while the TX is electric now, during the first year ever when SUVs are more than half of all electric vehicles on the market. With Lexus, we continue to focus on the portfolio approach, and our commitment to electrification has never been stronger than it has been, and by 2035, we'll be fully electrified. The new TX will be available as a plug-in hybrid or a high-performance turbocharged hybrid and will be made in America. We've put in a little over $800 million into the plant to really gear up uh, for the new vehicles that we're building. And the Lexus itself, as you know, uh, has a higher standard of specifications that you need to meet. So your necessary conditions from an engineering standpoint needs to be spot on and you need to be in control at all times. The hybrid TX is the first Lexus to be assembled at Toyota Motor Manufacturing Indiana, a domestic plant that's produced more than 6 million vehicles since 1996. The year before, Toyota added a new lane to the auto market forever with its first hybrid. Diane Mocha, Business First AM. Thank you, Diane. Bloomberg News Energy Finance predicts that electric vehicles will account for 10% of all new car sales by 2025 and 58% by 2040. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.